India and US are expected to make an announcement for the purchase of 31 MQ-9B armed drones today, that will be manufactured locally in India by Bharat Forge, including 60% of the parts such as landing gear, aeroframe and sensors and other parts. An MQ-9B global maintenance repair and overhaul facility will also be established in India, while Hindustan Aeronautics will provide maintenance support services for engines of MQ-9B. The 31 drones would be operated by a joint tri-services command, which will include officers and men from all three services. 16 drones will be used for looking after the land borders, and 16 drones for the maritime borders and islands. Larsen and Tubro and New Space Research and Technologies will start developmental trials of the submarine-launched unmanned aerial system in late 2023, under which rigorous testing and evaluation will be conducted to ensure the drone's performance reliability and adherence to stringent operational requirements. It will feature autonomous artificial intelligence-based system and point-to-multipoint networking capabilities. Once launched from the submarine, the aerial system will establish communication links with nearby forces, enhancing coordination and information sharing in real time. India has concluded multiple level talks with the three engine manufacturers Safran Rolls-Royce and General Electric, and India is now expected to issue a tender for all three companies to submit their formal proposals for the development of 120 kN high thrust engine project worth around 15,000 crore rupees for the AMCA program. The objective is to seek more core technology transfer, as the development will be largely funded by India. The process of selecting engine partner will commence once the AMCA program is officially granted CCS clearance in September. The Indian Air Force has expressed support to the proposal put forward by Hindustan Aeronautics and private sector companies for developing a jet-powered hail UAV as part of CATS program, and a request for a technical feasibility study report is expected soon. The design work is currently underway, and it will be powered by the indigenous 25 kN HDFE-25 engine, and will have a maximum takeoff weight of 8 tons. It will carry various electronic reconnaissance systems air-to-ground missiles anti-radiation missiles and loitering munitions for targeted strikes in challenging terrains and border regions. The Indian Army has expressed its endorsement for the purchase and local manufacturing of the Striker Armored Vehicle offered by the United States. The Striker Armored Vehicle aligns with the specifications sought by the Indian Army, and officials have said that the proposal for the local manufacturing of the Striker Armored Vehicle is currently under consideration by the Ministry of Defense. However, it is expected that there may be some opposition from the DRDO and local private defense manufacturers. India and US have launched a new United States defense acceleration ecosystem in Washington DC, and this initiative aims to foster collaboration and innovation between Indian and US defense startups, with focus on co-development and co-production of advanced defense technologies. It will vitalize defense industrial cooperation between the two countries and unlock new innovations in technology and manufacturing. Oh, my God.